Hi there, I'm Steve Knutson. I'm a Microsoft MVP for Office Apps and Services. In this video, I thought I'd show you a little preview of the Copilot uh, agents within SharePoint. So in front of me here, I've got my control documents library. Um, and here I've got a set of documents. Um, I've got a um, sort of body of knowledge, I guess, that I might want to work with. And then I have uh, on the toolbar here, you'll see this little option here to create an agent. Now I get this option here because I've got a Copilot license assigned to my account. Um, if you don't have a Copilot license, then you won't get this option here. So first thing we need to do is click here to create the agent. And the first thing it's going to do is ask us whereabouts we want to, um, or you know what um, our data source is for this agent. So I can also create this from this at the site level, um, specify a site. In this case, I'm just gonna use my procedures library within my um, site. So I'm gonna go open the agent. And that's it. So that's the basic version to create the agent. Now I can ask it a question. Um, so which documents um, reference uh, the health and safety policy? And it's gonna go away and hopefully find something interesting for us. And you'll see in this case here, what I'm doing is I've just asked it that, it's told me two separate documents in my library. They've got this reference and it's included links to them here so I can access those documents if I wish. Um, I can do more sophisticated things. So I can select a document, say for example, this one here um, on the usage of chemicals and I could ask it just to create a frequently asked question um, based on that document. So it's gonna go and read the document and generate some FAQs for me, just like that. So nice, easy way to generate some FAQs that I might want to put on a supporting page on my intranet, for example, to support my controlled document system. Um, and again, really super simple. And you can see it's got a reference down here to a single document, just the one that I've got selected. So that's a really, really easy um, tool to use, right? So I can really create this nice um, this experience really quickly um, and make it available to people in the sites, so anybody with a co-pilot. Uh, license will get it. You will notice in the document library it's created this um, file in here. So this is is a just a file, a JSON file containing the definition of the Copilot agent. Um, and you'll also notice that I can do a couple of other things from here. So I can take this Copilot agent and I can, if I click onto the little three dots here, I can share the agent. So I can copy the link to this agent and I can share it with someone. Uh, or I could post it and pin it, perhaps pin it into a Teams channel so that it's available for um, anyone to access easily through Teams to access that content. Um, I can also in here go edit and I can edit the agent and you'll notice in here a few things. I can give it a description and a name. I can edit the data source and I can add additional locations and so if I had several libraries for example that I wanted to look at or, um, or even specific files that I wanted to select and I could add those into the agents here. Uh, and then the third channel over here is some, some welcome messages and some default prompts. So I can create custom default prompts here as well. Um, the last thing you can do with this is you can click down the bottom down here, you can go into advanced customization using Copilot Studio. Once you do that, the agent then has to be edited going forward using Copilot Studio, not through the SharePoint, um, uh, not through the SharePoint agent um, editor that we're looking at now. Um, but um, it does give you some advanced options. So if you want to extend your Copilot to connect into other data and so on, this is the place you'd do that. Um, so I'm just going to close back out of here, um, back into my agent, and you'll see it's all nice and easily available here on my screen. Let me just show you one little more thing here. Um, I can uh, configure in here, like whether I want to keep my, uh, I can keep some track of my ch chat history. I can um, delete the history if I wish as, a, as an end, end user. Um, I can also um, uh, in here, if I go back and just grab that link to the item. So I'm just going to copy the link. Um, and if I go and paste that into another browser tab, which I've just realized you're not seeing right now, it will prompt that up as a, you can actually just use it as a link, say on an internet button. So copy that link. I'm going to go to the homepage of my site here, which is not particularly exciting. Um, we edit the home, edit the homepage. Let me just try that again. So I'm just going to go to edit, edit the homepage. Uh, I'm going to add a new quick link onto the front page here. So I'll just get an add one from my link. 
just created there. Let's add that in. And then republish. <clears throat> of course, I can give it a name and an icon and so on. And now as an end user, if I click onto this link here, you'll see it takes me through to an agent screen here where I can ask it the same sorts of questions around here. So um, uh, which documents are due for review? And then away we go. Couldn't find anything requiring a review. That's interesting because it's a controlled document system. But you get the idea. It's nice to see it not working sometimes because I'm sure that's the experience many of us have. So hopefully this video has been interesting. Um, I've just given you a quick run through of agents and how to set them up in SharePoint. Just remember you need to have a co-pilot license to work with them. Um, but yeah, hopefully that's been interesting and um, you can build your own very shortly yourself. Thanks. Bye.